you really love me, you let Welcome me back to the Project Blue Star campaign, uniting all superstars of the world amidst extreme social and environmental change. As the human consciousness transforms in accordance to the 26,000 year galactic cycle, we can see evidence of the new age coming to fruition before our very eyes. As our team continue to build the climate change village, we watch on as the social order of humanity beckons under the pressures of an old era. The old ways are slowly giving way to a new order. Consciousness is expanding and the future is created by our collective will to make it happen. Let's go team. The game that you play when you say you'll be here another day. What's the point in lying when you keep on trying? Get up, you get down. Get up, down, look around. See if you really love me, you let me go. If you really love me, you let me go. If you really love me, you let me go. Uh, I'm uh, here in the battery room at Earth Sanctuary. Uh, just yesterday it was 41 degrees in the shade, so what we've got to do is insulate this battery room so it doesn't get fried in the summer heat of the Australian desert. It's only going to get hotter here as we uh, go further into summer and uh, we can't uh, uh, have these batteries here exposed to too much heat, otherwise they have a tendency to uh, to uh, lose efficiency and die like all things that hang out in the sun. So uh, anyway, we've got some work to do. We've taken some old bats out from the top and uh, we're gonna put some new uh, bats which are made from 85% recycled material and then we're gonna put some uh, insulating wafers on the roof and uh, that should uh, drop the temperature in here by, uh, by a fair bit. So uh, hopefully uh, it uh, gives us more uh, bang for our buck. Anyway, let's get to it. As we take on the challenges of climate change, we're forced to relook at the fundamental areas which govern human life on our planet Earth. And that is our energy, water, shelter, food, utilities, and our well-being. If you're knowing, let the pipe go, let the hype go and arrest. The night be afraid, be a man, be a one-stop man, live it up and let it be. Let your mind set you free, all the games, all the rain, all the heat, all the sleep, the ball rolls, let the games begin. Your sin, no one wins, habitat detach and derange, rearrange and slip into a new game. Cause if you really love me, you let me go. If you really love me, you let me go. Uh, we've just uh, installed the insulation bats and uh, they're all in and uh, hopefully uh, this uh, reduces the heat. We've got some wafers to put in now to add a bit more protection from the, uh, the midsummer heat. We'll come in here about three in the afternoon and see if that adds uh, See if we've actually improved the situation. So it's looking good. Grab yourself by the scruff and wrap yourself around this day or deal. Steal good by chance if you got the chance. Who cares? Dance, dance, dance. You know, hell can wait. Sing it if you really love me. You let me. This is a very similar fairy floss as to what you'd get at the Alice Springs show, except you'd probably hallucinate for months. Probably better than magic mushrooms, in fact. Anyway, these are for the uh, for the small adjustments. We're nearly there. Yeah, well, what's, what's that voltage on down there? We've got half a, uh, a wafer up now, and we've got one more to go. It's uh, feeling good already. The, the fan is working up there. Go, you good thing. We're nearly there. Go, you battery.
great work team. Now our batteries are safer from the extremes of the desert heat. Let's move outside to do some much needed work on the Sanctuary's wind farm. It's, it's around about uh, just before 7 in the morning and I'm here with Dad and uh, we've got two windmills to, uh, to pop up after doing some amendments. What were the amendments we had to do, Dad? The amendments were to make the uh, foundation for the guy ropes a little bit deeper, a little bit heavier and uh, a little bit stronger. Yeah, probably we did lose one, uh, one blade due to some stronger wind so we uh, deepened, deepened the uh, supports. All done now, now it's time to put them up and uh, generate some more power. The heat has been uh, pretty impounding, so uh, we've got some work to do. 38 degrees. 38 degrees. Yesterday was 43. And there's rain coming again. What's going on here, Dad? We're just putting in the um, little junction boxes, so it gives a bit of protection. So. Uh, keeps them waterproof and also uh, keeps them from someone getting a shock. Number four blades are now uh, attached, the nose is put on it, some modifications, uh, time to put her up. So while the GFC obscures the climate issue, it doesn't change the facts about extreme weather on our planet Earth. The global average temperature has increased over the past 100 years by just under 1 degree Celsius. 11 of the 12 warmest years since we began keeping records have occurred in the past 12 years. The current global climate is warmer than it's ever been during the last 500 years and probably warmer than it has been for more than a thousand years. How many more we got to go Dad? One more. This is shit. That one is fuck. Looks like we've got yeah. And uh, you can see come on over there in the distance. So shit fuck yeah come on. The rate at which temperatures are rising is unprecedented. For comparison, the largest temperature increase in the past million years are those that occurred at the ends of the ice ages. The warming that occurred then was part of a gradual process that took about 5,000 years. In contrast, the increase in global average temperature we are seeing today is abrupt taking place over decades and in people's lifetimes. As we continue to make more modifications and improvements to the climate change village, we know full well that information exists within governmental and private corporate archives which could drastically alter the human predicament on the planet Earth for the better. And this is why the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Freedom of Information Act made in 1948 has never been more important. We need to ensure that information that can help transform the energy crisis on Earth is made available to everyone. Can you imagine a world where energy is truly free and no longer monopolised to the benefit of the few? You can make a difference by taking personal action and choosing to take part in the Green Revolution. See you on the next transmission.